Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about Vernonia baldwini tor, otherwise known as Interior Ironweed, Western Ironweed, or Baldwin's Ironweed. Baldwin's Ironweed is a herbaceous perennial plant that grows to be about 0.6 to 1.5 meters tall. Ironweeds can be quite difficult to distinguish from one another because they'll hybridize with each other. Additionally, ironweed was once used by Native Americans as a form of pain reliever, and they're typically not grazed on by cattle due to them tasting bitter. Now, if we take a look at the distribution map of Baldwin's ironweed in North America, we'll see that it's native to the central United States, getting a bit more rare the further it gets from the center. If you're wanting to add this species to your landscape, it grows best in hardiness zones 3 through 9. When it comes to the Baldwin ironweed's natural environment, it prefers sunny areas that are mesic or dry. However, it is more drought resistant than some of the other ironweeds. Now, some of the habitats this species can be found in include prairies, in disturbed areas such as roadsides, and in old fields. Now, the stems of Baldwin's ironweed are cylindrical with short white pubescence, with leaves being attached in an alternating pattern. The leaves themselves are either sessile or have a very short petiole. They are also simple, are lance-shaped, ovate, and have a serrate margin, and occasionally have a pubescent underside. Baldwin's ironweed blooms May to September, and when it does, it produces many magenta to purple flower heads that contain 15 to 34 disc florets per head. There are no ray florets on this species, each disc floret has five petals and is perfect, with five stamen and a single branched pistil. At the base of each flower head, there are many green bracts that will have tips that slightly curve. The flowers of Baldwin's ironweed are pollinated by bees and butterflies. After pollination takes place, clusters of light brown achenes with feathery pappus will form. These seeds are wind dispersed and many birds will eat them. Additionally, the root system is composed of rhizomes, which can allow this species to reproduce asexually. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed learning about Baldwin's ironweed, otherwise known as Vernonia baldwini with me. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.